what is anomaly detection right so let's try to understand what is it right and then let's uh, jump into the applications of anomaly detection right so anomaly detection is a step in data mining uh, that identifies data points events or observations that deviate from a data set's normal behavior right anomalous data can indicate critical incidents such as technical glitch or potential opportunities for instance a change in consumer behavior right what does it mean right so just just a very simple uh, example i have uh, put it in the form of image right where uh, just take an example of probably uh, uh, the the uh, number of orders placed by a customer uh, on a monthly basis right so if you see everything is uh, kind of consistent right over a period of time right but on a given given month you see a huge spike right so there is a huge spike here the red dot on a given month you see a huge number of uh, uh, orders right so this particular deviation right uh, or outlier right when you compare to your normal uh, behavior uh, is 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 an anomaly right and detecting that anomaly is uh, called as anomaly detection finding out that anomaly using your statistical or machine learning algorithms is called as anomaly detection right so the value could be anything right but you based on your historical behavior if you see something which is uh, abnormal right uh, you 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 call, you flag it as an anomaly right so it could be because of the negative reasons or the positive reasons right but you need to find out what is that reason right so in in for example in uh, cyber security domain right a few logins like a spike in uh, uh, logins or logouts uh, uh, it, these things ma matter a lot right because of the security reasons right so there a spike is is is, is a way negative right and you need to find out that why that spike or anomaly has happened and you need to identify the uh, root cause for that, right? And for example, in a retail uh, context, uh, an anomaly is is uh, the as as I uh, explained right now the total number of orders probably right uh, is a is a is a is a positive thing. Right? There is nothing to worry about it, right? Because a uh, huge number of orders is 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 a, is a positive sign. But you still need to understand why is that, right? Is it because of the data glitch or uh, uh, is it because of a mass order, right? Or is it because of a festival order, right? You don't know that, right? You still need to see that this is this is not something alarming that you need that you need to uh, uh, give your attention, right? So that is uh, uh, that is that is how uh, your anomaly detection works right and for each domain it has its own uh, applications right uh, and let's let's jump into those uh, applications by domain to understand uh, why anomaly detection is crucial uh, in today's world so um, why and where uh, this anomaly detection uh, is being used right so let's probably go uh, domain by domain right it's it's easy to understand uh, the applications right uh, banking financial services and insurance right bfsi right so in banking sector some of the use cases for anomaly detection are to flag abnormality abnormally high transactions right so again, uh, if you are normally doing a transaction of uh, uh, 30k, 40k uh, dollars, like, or if a sudden 
uh, uh, you you are, you are doing uh, transactions of millions of dollars, right? Which is again an alarming, right? So we need to see why those huge transactions are happening, right? And also the very, very important application uh, of anomaly detection is uh, finding out the fraudulent activities, right? And that is something that we are going to solve in this project as well, right? Fraud detection. Uh, it's a it's a huge uh, domain in itself, right? And it has a lot of value because the fraud transactions are increasing day by day, right? So if you are able to flag those fraud transactions, right, or uh, fraudulent activities, uh, you 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 will you will get to know uh, who are making those transactions, and you can stop those transactions happening beforehand, right? So that's the uh, major application in banking domain, right? Uh, it, as you, uh, the, the next domain is retail, right? In retail, anomaly detection is used for processing large volumes of financial transactions to identify fraudulent behaviors, such as identity theft and, and fraudulent credit card usage, right? Um, again, Again, in the retail, what happens is you will you will uh, uh, order this huge amount of uh, huge uh, volumes of uh, uh, products, right? And probably it goes to the wrong. Uh, uh, probably the order itself is fake, right? There is no one to pick up, or it 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 could be uh, again from the financial term. They could be using uh, a fraudulent credit card, right, to place that order, right. So uh, again, uh, uh, trying to find out if there are any abnormal um, uh, activity in the customer behavior, right. So these are the these are the few uh, applications in the retail, right. Manufacturing uh, in manufacturing, anomaly detection can be used in a number of important ways, such as identifying machines and tools that are underperforming, which can take months to find without anomaly detection uh, technology, right? So uh, again, you will be tracking how each and each machine or a manufacturing plant will be working, right? So there are, there will be uh, certain parameters of its own uh, and you will be uh, trying to find if there are any underperforming of those parameters and trying to find uh, the anomaly uh, within those parameters, right? Then you can go ahead and say that uh, okay, this particular machine is not performing as it is expected, right? And we can you can take action, certain actions on that. IT and telecom. Uh, in IT and telecommunications, anomaly detection is increasingly valuable to detect and act on personal threats to users, right? Financial threats to service providers and other types of unexpected threats, right? So if there are certain uh, uh, emails that you are receiving or uh, 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 communications that you are doing, if there are any certain threats to the user, right, the way the the email is sent or the way uh, the calls are being made, right, again, if there are any uh, financial threats to the service providers, right, again, it, it ties back to the finance uh, domain, right, you can identify those uh, uh, threats as well, right. Defense and government. Uh, Anomaly detection is best used for identifying excessive and fraudulent government spending, budgeting, and audits, right? This can save governments an immense amount of money, right? The, the amount of money uh, the, the individuals are hiding from government so that they will not, they don't have to pay tax is huge, right? And if there are any certain spending happening towards that, right? And if the audits are not uh, happening properly, right? We can flag all those uh, transactions uh, to kind of find out the uh, fraudulent uh, uh, fraudulence, right? 
So that's in the setting of our uh, defense and uh, government, right? Healthcare in healthcare, anomaly detection is used for its applications in crucial management tasks that can improve the quality of uh, health services and avoid loss of huge amounts of money, right? In terms of identifying fraudulent claims from a hospital and the on uh, and on the side of insurance providers, right? The, the the last sentence, which is fraudulent claims, is very important for the insurance providers, right? Uh, Otherwise, uh, you do uh, you 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 start uh, claiming uh, uh, your uh, uh, your bills uh, or your hospital expenses, uh, and and you you take misuse of those insurances, right? Which will which will affect their day-to-day uh, uh, -day planning, right? So yeah, so that's another very important application where you can find who who, who are the customers who are who are trying to claim uh, claim the uh, insurance uh, unnecessarily.